my god. Oh, this is this is awesome. Hey everyone. I'm here with Thelma Stevens, who I see at church uh, almost every day. Almost every day. <laughs> so uh, she asked me this winter if I'd polish a pudding stone for her, and I told her well, we're going to have to wait until summer because it's an outside job and it's too cold to do <laughs> in the winter. <laughs> so uh, this is a stone with a story. So uh, let's take a look at the rock there and tell us about it. Okay. Well, I think this is the best side, but it's beautiful all over. Okay, my mom was on a... Uh, uh, um, she was in a geology class and, and they were at a quarry that quarry now this was back in the 50s so the quarry was dry as a bone it's now a lake on 32 anyway um, she found this rock and she felt like it was the prize of the day it was and she it was a treasure to her uh, it was a, she brought it home she brought it home to show it off of course she would even take it to Florida with when they would go to Florida she would take it with her and use it for a doorstop and then of course it came back to Michigan so this is a well-traveled rock um, and and I think it needs a dressing up after all these years but I was standing with the rock one day looking at it and I thought and I remember that verse when Jesus says about Peter you are a rock and I thought well hello this is a rock. I'm going to call it Peter. So this is not just any old rock. This is, this is, this rock has a name. He is Peter. It's my mom's rock, and it's my rock now, and its name is Peter, and it's going to get a dressing up. Well, that, I think that's a great looking rock. Um, that's a, one of the better pudding stones I've ever seen, and I will do my best to uh, to make it look its to make best. It look good. All right, I can hardly wait. Are we going to take a video of it when when we see it? We will. Will, will we'll, all your friends I'll, get to see it? I'll take it home and we'll polish it up and uh, bring all it back, right. and we'll do another video here. Okay, that's great. Thank all right, you. for sure. I'm all set up and ready to go, so let me just show you the tools I'll be using. This is just a regular angle grinder, but I have a diamond cup grinding wheel on it. And then this one is a Makita whetstone polisher. Uh, it has Velcro pads. I've got a series of 10 that I go through. And of course I got my safety equipment, a respirator, eyeglasses or safety glasses, and rubber gloves. Um, I've also got hearing protection. So uh, I'm going to start with this and do the first step with this, and then everything else is done with this one. So let's get started. All right, Peter, this might sting a little. Well, this looks worse before it's going to look better. Here it is right now. So the purpose here was just to take out any low spots and uh, little nicks and cracks and things. I did leave one hole in here somewhere, right there. Uh, that's really deep. So rather than take this whole side down by a quarter inch or a half inch, I decided just to leave that one. Uh, so from here on out, we're doing soft backed uh, pads and we're just taking out the scratches and any little uh, ridges and stuff or flat spots, those will all get uh, ground out at this point and uh, pretty soon it's going to look all nice and shiny. All right, I'm done with the first soft pad, and it still has lots of scratches on it. Each pad's a finer grit, and we'll take off the scratches from the last one. So I'm not going to show you all the steps. Uh, but here and there I'll stop and, and give you a look at how it's coming along. All right, I just finished up with the fifth soft pad, which is 400 grit, and this is coming along really nicely. You can no longer see any scratches on it, and it feels really smooth and nice. Uh, you can't feel it, but take my word for it, it feels nice. So uh, you might be thinking oh, I'm only halfway through because I'm halfway through the soft pads, but the first soft pad and the diamond cup wheel before that take far longer than anything else. 
Uh, so after that, it's just a few minutes on each one. The hardest part is just making sure you hit all the surfaces. So I always dry it off in between and check it out. Uh, that way you can really see any scratches when it's dry that you, you can't see those when it's wet. So five more and then I'm gonna check back in and it'll be all done. You get to see the finished product. I can't wait to show Thelma this. Uh, I think she's gonna love it. Turned out really nice. Whole process took about two hours, maybe a little less. Uh, if I take out all the filming stuff, that doesn't include getting the, the stuff out of the garage and putting it back in, but uh, just the grinding part. Not too bad. So uh, I'm happy with this. Next we get to go show Thelma. Well, it's all done. <laughs> I've, uh, I've hidden it, see, so this is the big well, reveal. I can't see it. So okay. she's been waiting while I set up the camera. It's killing her. I've been make feeling it. it. I've make, been feeling it. Make you wait a little bit longer. Oh, here you go. Okay. Will you hold it while I. Sure. I'm going to hold it that way. in the back. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, this is. This is awesome. <laughs> this is. Oh. There's the good side. This is the. Oh. Looks different, doesn't it? It's 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 a jewel. <laughs> it's not a rock. It is now. Oh, look! You can see the texture in in oh. The little stripes show up on the jasper yes. a little better. So. Oh. All right. So you're 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 happy. Oh. I'm, <laughs> oh, I'm happy. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, this is a treasure. Well, good. Uh, this is not going to be used as a doorstop. You could still Ever. use it as a doorstop. It oh, won't scuff up your doors anymore. It's going to be <laughs> on the coffee table, on a doily on the coffee table. A doily even. <laughs> Great. It is worthy. Oh, I, oh, I can't think. It's so smooth. It's good. It's beautiful. Oh, I thank you. You wanted it to be smooth. It's smooth. So. It's beautiful. The colors just pop on it. And that's why I do this. It's really fun to see them uh, oh, see them change like that. They just come so. alive. It is beautiful. It's a jewel. I'm glad you like Thank it. You. Thank you. So if you'd like to see some, uh, uh, I'll link a video here where I found the biggest pudding stone I've ever found, and it's a really good one too. So go check out that video, and I'll see you over there. Oh, thank you. Thank you for this. <laughs> You're welcome. It's so great.